Now let's talk about the browser. To get on the internet, you need to tap on the browser icon from your app section, or if it's on a stage somewhere, you can tap it there. But here I am in the app section, I'm going to tap browser. Now the browser is capable of opening more than one page at a time. Notice across the top there are tabs. This one says Google, Fainting Goat Kittens, and WREL Mobile. Those are three different pages that I've been on. To get to a new page without losing the one that you're looking at right now, Look for this little tab right here with a little plus sign at it. When you tap that, it brings you to a new blank page and you can go wherever you want to from there. Now, uh, about the browser, these are your tabs and I can go back and forth. I want to go look at the Fainting Kittens page or I want to look at WRL. So I can go back and forth within my browser like that. But look over on the far right at the top. You see this little icon that looks like a series of horizontal lines? This is called the menu. This is a common feature throughout a lot of places on your tablet. When you um, tap on the menu, you can do a variety of things. You can see there are all sorts of things that you can do. Downloading it, saving the page, sharing it. If you choose to share it, which is a good way to get it to yourself, it's going to give you some options, Bluetooth, email, or Gmail. So you would need to choose one of those that you're familiar with, and then you would simply send it to yourself or to someone else. I want to get off this screen, so I tap away anywhere that's not there. All right, so that's the menu. At the top left over here are the back and forward arrows. So when I'm inside the browser and I want to go back a page, I would use this back button see how it took me back to another page. If I had touched the back button down here at the bottom, or I'm pointing down here, then it would have taken me out of the browser altogether. So that's what the back buttons. Now, this is your back, this is your forward. I can now go forward to the page I was on a second ago. Next to that is this little circular symbol with an arrow on the end of it. This is your refresh icon. You tap that to refresh the page. If you've uh, been away or it's a news page and you want to see if there are new stories, tapping refresh simply makes it load the page again and bring it up to you fresh. Next to the refresh icon is the web address or the URL box. You, if you want to put in a URL, you tap there. Up comes a keyboard and you can type in whatever you want to go. Let's go to www.cnn.com. Oh, and look down here on this particular keyboard. There's already a button that says .com. So if I want, I can just tap .com and it completes it for me. Isn't that nice? This keyboard does that. Um, so now here I am. I've typed in my address. I'm going to click Go and I will soon be on CNN.com. There it is, CNN.com. We've, right here at the end of the URL address bar is a star. If I want to make this a favorite, I would tap that star. I could change the name up here if I want to, but I just click OK, and now I have a bookmark. If I want to pull up my bookmarks, I would tap this little icon here on the end, these are all of the pages that I've bookmarked, and so I would just tap it, and it would take me to that page. Now, this little icon here, the little magnifying glass, that's a search. It brought up a search box. I can type in whatever I want to search for, and then I can tap Go. Now, let's see if there's something else we can do. Let's close this. If I come up here and I type in www. Um, Disney.com, just because I can remember that one. Disney.com. I can use the back arrow to take my keyboard away, but I haven't gone to the site yet. Ah, that won't take you to the site. Isn't that good to know? So now you've learned what not to do as far as using that search bar. The search will not take you to the web page. The search button will bring up a search page where you can type in whatever you're looking for and then go, we'll take you there. One more little thing though to notice up here. Look up here, there's a uh, microphone. This is voice search. And if I now tap the microphone, I can speak my search terms. 
Raising Horses. And now here is my Google results page that gives me links to articles about that which I spoke. So that's how you would use the voice search. This pretty much covers what I wanted to cover as far as browsers are concerned.